So now we are in Arsenal. So what you want to do once you're in Arsenal, don't click deploy. Click this event tab right here and then press the Arsenal event challenge. Just click that if you'll time. It might take a minute for it to load. So cut back once it does. So now we're in the custom arsenal uh, RB battles map. What you want to do? Press deploy. To join any team. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. So once you're here, um, there's this guy who will be talking to you, but um, I, I have my sound off, so you won't be hearing any of them. So once you step through this door, there's going to be a shooting range. You have to shoot the enemies, but the green shirt ones, you don't shoot them because they're civilians. If you shoot them, you'll lose points. So, I'll just do this, uh, do the first round with you guys if I beat it. But if I don't, I'll probably do a time lapse. So, let's do this first one so get you familiar with it. Shoot that one. That one. Shoot. 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 Boom. 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 Kill. Oh. Boom. Kill these. Kill that one. Kill that one. Kill that one. Don't kill this one. Kill that 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 one. Do not kill that guy. Kill. Then snipe. Oh. Snipe them. Snipe them. Snipe them. Don't shoot that guy. Shoot him. Shoot him. Don't shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him. 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 Him, him, and him. Now go to the store. Shoot him, 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 him. That guy, that guy. These three guys. Grab a rocket launcher, shoot them, and shoot them. And then go through the door. With five seconds left, that's how you do it. One minute, thirty seconds. If if you don't do it within one minute, thirty seconds. Go through this green door, don't go through the red door, go through the green door, and then you, once you're done, you can go back through the door and try again. But since I completed it, that's how you do the badge. Alright, next So game. now we are in Sonic Speed Simulator. This is the next badge we're gonna get. Which one do you want to join in? Um, go to the Synth City Obby. Join in. And it doesn't matter if you're new to this game or not. Because once you're in the Sin City Obby, uh, everyone has the same exact speed. So it doesn't matter how much, uh, like, how long you've been playing this game for. What you want to do? Head up. I should probably tell you the controls first. Yeah, so, um, you come up here, and you jump, right? But to jump higher, instead of, like, jumping this high, if you hold jump, you jump this high. So it's better to hold jump instead of just tap jump. So what are you looking for? You go up here. You're looking for these switches that are gray. Uh, you need 25 of them, but there's 30 all around the map. So I'll be showing you how to get the 25 that uh, I originally have. Okay. What you want to do? Go down here. Go to the right side. Or if you go up there, this is the left side. Go up here, keep going, I almost didn't make that, and in between these two, like, computers, there'll be another one. Then go up here, there should be another one right here, and then you go, uh, over here on this side. Like that. So then, once you're over here, you can go out here, and then you have to wrap around this wall right here to get another switch, to get another one, and then you go to this side, and then go right here to the corner, you'll have another one. So that's one-fifth of the way there. 
what you want to do, go on this jumper thing. And then go to this side. And once, if you see these ramps, you uh, hold shift. Hold shift and then let go. Because it will give you a much higher advantage. So you hit one right there. And then once you do that, you can hold jump and go over here. And then go through that tunnel. And there will be another switch right over here, greeting you. That's 7 out of 25. What you want to do, go up here, after you've done that. Then, go, uh, turn back to this corner, because a lot of people don't see this one. Go back to this corner, and then go here. But instead of going to this jumpy thing, because there's not really anything over there, what you want to do, go, and hold space, and go right here so you can hold that hold space and then boom and here there's another switch you can hold that oh. you can just hold space get up here and then get that switch so that's 9 out of 25 so go up to this jumper again get this one go up again and then this this time has a speed so you don't really need to hold shift so once you're up here, you can see there's another switch right over here. And then what you want to do, uh, go to this, oh, go here to this where the switch is. So then you can uh, go and then hold space right here. Don't You don't need to go up this ramp yet, this is the finale. So you go there, that's 12 out of 15. You go here. And right here in the middle is your thirteenth switch. And then you can you can go to the other side. Right here. And then go to the left. And there's your fourteenth switch. So what you want to do, you can head back to the other side. And then slow down a little bit. Then you can go back to this side, and then go up these jumpers, and then go up here. What you want to do, go up these stairs, and go to this other building, and go up the jumper again. So what you want to do, make sure not miss this. There's this ramp here, which you can go and get this one, which is your 15th switch. <coughs> so that's your um, 3 fifths of a switch. What I do, um, you can go back over, go to the jumper, and then get this other switch. But instead of going on, go all the way back here, onto this building, there's, another, there's your 17th switch. And then go back up where you came from. And then you can go back on the jump. So once you're here, you have to do another wrap around behind this wall and get your 18th, 20, uh, 18th uh, switch. I do wrap around again and go into this building where you will find this switch in the um, far left corner here. And then go here where you'll be greeted with another switch which is going to be your 20th. So you can jump up. You can jump up right here. And then get the switch. And then go to this side. And get this other switch. Alright, so once you're here, go back to the left side this time. Right here. Then you can get this one, then go down here, get this one. So once you're here, um, you don't have to do this, but you can hold shift, go, and then there you have it, your 25th 
switch. <clears throat> so once you've got that, uh, I think you can just go back here. Go back all the way here. And then what you want to do, go back to the ramp area. Not this one. Uh, right here. Yeah, this part. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, my bad. So what you want to do, go back to this place. And then hold shift. Go up. And then hold. Oh. My bad, don't hold shift. I'm sorry, I didn't mention that. So what you want to do, just go... No, why am I so dumb? You have to get speed first. Get speed, and then hold W. Do not let go of the forward key. Do not let go. You might see that you're slowing down, but do not let go. Like I did right there, because I'm stupid. Don't be like me. Don't be stupid like me. So, go up this ramp, no matter what, do not let go of W. Do not let go of the W. So, just keep going up, keep going up, keep going up. But you're here, you can exit right here, and then go here. There's another switch right here, if, you, if you're missing one, by the way. But we don't need that. So, once you're here... Just follow along the bumpers, the jumpers, that makes you jump. Just follow along. Make sure you take your time, because if you fell, you had to redo all 25 switches. So don't do that. And once you're on top of here, you will see Russo and Sabrina. And then you could finish the thing. And once you go on top of here, uh, you will get the badge, and that's how you get it. On to the next. So the next game will be Adopt Me. This is the final challenge game so far that is released. But if there's more, uh, I will add them. I will add them because this this will take a long time to upload. So, anyways, uh, Adopt Me one is relatively easy also. I recommend you have two toys. Uh, you either have the drone, the drone propeller, or any toy that can help you fly up, or any grappling hook that can let you grapple onto stuff. So I can just use any of these. I'll just use the cactus for now. So what you want to do? Get out of your house. Oh my god! Why is nothing loaded yet? <laughs> that was weird. That looks so weird. Alright, so what you want to do, go to the place where all the uh, stuff are, where all the stores are. So, just wait a bit. It'll be teleported there shortly. Right here. What you want to do, you have to find three uh, colored crystals. I'll show you exactly where they are. So first, go in the middle. And then there will be one. Uh... Oh, it's at the other side. There will be one at the end of the bridge. Right here. It's, it's one here. Oh, it's right there. I'm, why am I so blind, bro? <laughs> Alright, so there. This is the purple one. Activate that one. And that's good. The next one... Go over there. Don't. No, I don't want to. I don't want to slide. I don't want to slide. So there's the blue one. Get the blue one. And then the green one should be somewhere over here. The green one is over there next to this, like. I don't know what to call this. Like. The sauna? That's not it. I'm so dumb. Just get this green crystal. That's all you want to do. And then there's two options. No, there's three options. Either one, you have a pet that has flying on it. Since I don't play Adami, I don't have that. 
Two, you get a toy, like drone propeller, that you can use to fly up. Or three, you can just take the hot air balloon. What I'm trying to do, go all the way, oh, go all the way up to the sky castle right there. And you see like the three crystals, it will be shining all the way up to the uh, castle. And there will be a trophy right over there, as you can see. What I'm going to do, stop right here at the door. Stop right here at the door. Can I go, can I, can I go in please? Excuse me? Uh, can I not go in? What the fuck? Why can't I go in? I can't. Is this a bug? Adopt me, fix your freaking game. I guess we'll drone our way there. Alright, so as I was saying, you have to fly all the way up here to the trophy. It'll, this might take a while. And there's trampolines. So you can, uh, boo! Oh my god! Nope, I wish to stop. I wish to stop. And, wait, did I get the trophy? Did I, did I get it? Wait, did I not? No, <laughs> I just know. No, 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 no. I got it, right? You guys saw that, right? And there's, there's no, why can't I? Oh, I got it. <laughs> I'm stupid. So once you get the trophy, you should get the badge. The badge should be in your inventory. So yep, that's how you get the Adopt Me badge. And on to the next uh, badge. So now we're in build a -Boat. Don't ask why my avatar changed, by the way. Anyways, what you want to do, once you're in build a -Boat, uh, click this RB Battle PvP button. And then press join. And then uh, you will join a random person, or if there's no one, you can start one and then someone will join and then they can uh set the build time sale time block limit um plane card whatever pvp mode so uh what how this works is uh you'll get however much time to build a boat and then um you will have any amount of time to like sail and uh it doesn't really matter who wins, to be honest. It doesn't matter who wins. Uh, as long as you're in the game and the game ends, you get the badge. So, like, if you're a noob like me, if you're like, if you're a noob like me, then you don't have to worry about your building skills because mine are horrible and I did just fine on the badge. Let's see. So what you want to do, just build a random boat, put, wait, uh, put a seat, and then you could add whatever you want, you could add a minigun, right there, uh, you can add a cannon, right there, and you could add a little fin thing, oh, that's about, I know that's too, there. Sure. Okay, so uh, I'm just gonna add a roof just in case. I probably I probably should get in first. Let's get in. Let me in. And then cover myself with blocks. I'm gonna get some other blocks. Uh with black stone, sure. Now I'm covered. There's no way I could be damaged. I think. Yeah, alright. So now my build is done. I don't just delete these blocks so I can access my minigun and cannon. So, 
Uh, and you have restrictions on how many blocks you can use. This person is just, I don't know what he's doing. Alright. So I'm just gonna show what both of you built. I just built a mess. I don't know what that is. Alright, three, two, one. And. Are we starting yet? Two, one. Wait, we're starting. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Yes, my fins. No, 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 this is a bad idea, bad idea. Are you just cheating? Oh, he's going to someone else's base. Let's get my minigun ready. Alright. Why is, why is he right? Why is he there? Oh. I won. So after that, uh, you would get the challenge winner badge and the golden trophy or whatever trophy. Depends on whatever place you got. So yep, that's how you get the Big Bolt badge. It's pretty easy. So now we're in jailbreak. It would be much easier if you're on the police team. So if you want, you could just be the police. And this is a perfect spawn to be at. What you want to do is go in a helicopter. Not this one, because that costs a million dollars, which I don't have, because I am a noob. Uh, oh, go to this helicopter. This is the, <laughs> this is a free one, because I don't play this game 24-7. Who would have thought? <laughs> so anyways, go in the helicopter. It'll be much easier with the helicopter. It's, uh, I don't know why it's so hard to find, um, it's so hard to find the RV Battles HQ without a helicopter. I do just fly towards the city where all these like red dots are. That's where all those uh, robberies are and where the city is. So just keep flying, fly past the little what's that little town, little village. So go over here to the middle. Well, not the middle. The, the big city, the main part. And then you see this army battles giant floating sign. What you wanna do, um, go down, this is the RV Battles HQ, and then, get off, you go through this door, and then get ready to start this. So, when you go in, you gotta do a series of obbies. So, um, uh, I don't know if you're good at obbies, but, um, hopefully you are, because I'm not. Alright, so, jump past these lasers, go over here, go on this box, and we're on the second part. This one is a little bit tricky, so just, oh, it moves. So just jump past these, jump past these. I should probably not be that soon. Jump past this, jump past this, and jump past that. So, um, once you're there, go up the elevator, and then go through this part. This is Sabrina's part. Oh, I did, I pressed space block. Oh. Alright, <laughs> just go past this part. And there's Sabrina waving at you. Go to his elevator. Now this part is the tricky part. This part is really hard. So I'm trying to do go past these lights. Go through this. And then go boom. And then go boom. And then go boom. And then go boom. And then no 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 Alright, so go up this elevator, and once you're at the sword part, at the upstairs, 
you will get the badge, and that is how you get it. So now we're in Mount Everest. Um, I the live I I'm doing this right at the live events. I for, I got too excited. I forgot to record the first part, but. Yeah, once you're there, you go to the big army battles area, and then uh, you go straight, and then you can go up the mountains. You have to uh, follow the path, follow like the ladders and this gray path. If you want, you can take like shortcuts, but make sure you don't fall. And if and there are camps along the trail, so you could go here and refill your water and then continue on your uh, journey so uh this is gonna take a long long time so i'm just going to uh time lapse this once again So there we go, we finally completed it. Oh my god, bro. That took absolutely way too long. That took me 30, like 30 minutes. Well, they also did take 30 minutes in the video, but... We did it! We got every single badge of RB Battles. Yes. So, uh... I'll show you how to get the bits next and the Christmas 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 badges. And that's the end of the video. This is the newest badge to come out and it's the last one, I'm pretty sure. So, uh, see ya. Don't forget, uh, every time you finish one of the badges, or one of the event, one of the challenge badges, my bad, um, head over to the event badges room in the official RB Battles hub, and then go in. And you can unlock all of the all of the twelve badges and unlock the winners wings uh, after you get the badges from the different games. Unfortunately, Blocksport doesn't have one, so I didn't put that inside of this video. So yeah, don't forget it. Don't forget to claim your badges in the badges area in the hub because uh, you have to do that in order to get the winners winners wings. So yeah, make sure you do that.